YouTube, it's Wups here, and today I'm bringing you guys a video on how to get 200 mil smithing, like I promised you guys a while ago, but haven't gotten around to doing because I've been busy with fishing and I just recently started woodcutting. And anyway, so right now in the video I'm showing how you should have your bank kind of set up, and just as long as you have your room bars on the end, it doesn't really matter. And I'm showing you guys screen markers right now, and that's where you should have your screen marker. I'll add in the description how to get screen markers and where to get them but anyway so in this part of the video it's just going to show you how to do the perfect laps that you possibly can doing smithing I know it sounds funny I kinda got the name from Brad from doing agility but anyway you should have your uh, mouse keys set up already just click apply there or have all the, all the settings there's probably a video you could go look up I'll probably add it in the description later but anyway, so you want to have the avatar as well, and I'll show you how to set up the avatar. So you just kind of pay the buffs on it, and then you bring it around and try to put it in that square over there. You can just click in the corner of the square and then run yourself out, and then just run yourself back to the bank, pick up your bars, whatever. And then, so you want to use your mouse key to withdraw your bars the fastest way possible, and then back to the avatar. The avatar will save you a lot of money and will save you a lot of time because it'll give you uh, 13 extra XP when you smith a Rune 2H or whatever you're smithing with three bars and it really saves a lot of time. If you can get one, I highly recommend it. You can get one just by being in a clan. I'm not sure the exact requirements, but Hopeful has one. You can have two avatars, but it doesn't really help you to have two out at once. But anyway, so I like to get back before I forget to talking about what you're going to be smithing till 200 mil. And it's pretty easy after you hit 99 to figure out what you're going to be doing. And it's mostly rune items. And you're just doing rune 2 H's, rune plate skirts, rune plate legs, and stuff like that. That's three bars. And you can look up the prices. I'll show you it later on in the video where you can do that. And, and it's funny because after 99 it's so much cheaper than for when you're going to 99 because the prices for like Addy and Steel and Artisans and all of that are just so much more expensive than um, doing rune items. But it kind of sucks that the rune items are at 99, which makes it more difficult. And uh, now in the video I'm showing you guys what my settings are. And uh, my settings are the lowest on everything you can possibly do with roofs off and any size screen. And that's really important, the any size screen. But anyway, we're going to get into a second method in terms of screen settings when it comes to getting 200 mil. And this method is a little bit slower. I think it's like a tick slower than the other method. But it's a lot easier because you're not having to click through the chat box or anything like that. And it's a lot easier to see the bank, as you can see and it just makes it a little bit slower but it's a lot more convenient and that's why I like it and I did that method for well over 100 mil XP and I think it's a really good and easy method to do it in if you're just trying to relax and the other method is really good if you're going for like a daily or something like that and I'm pretty sure someone told me that the the XP is not that big but it's like 20 or so hours so take that how you will and now we're moving on and looking in the grand exchange to show you guys how much the rune items are the rune bars and the rune 2 H's I just chose 2 H's because that's usually what I did at the end when I didn't really care about the GP per XP and as you guys can see you're actually losing quite a bit on face value when you're looking at the grand exchange but that's not necessarily the case because um, the scroll of efficiency, which I'll show you guys now, and this is um, Thunder Spreadsheets, and it will help you a lot. You can also use Rune Wiki, but I really like Thunder Spreadsheets, and that's just what I was using until 200 mil. And basically, it just shows you the GP per XP that you're getting per item. And this shows with the scroll of efficiency, without, with hammers, and you can also do smelting and other stuff. And uh, now at this point in the video, I'm going to show you guys where you can get the scroll of efficiency. And not a lot of people know this, but it's really easy to get, and it's kind of simple. All you have to do is get 60 dunge. Basically, it's the equivalent, and it's 20, 20k points. And what it does is it gives you a certain percentage of being able to save a bar when you're smithing something three bars or higher. And it goes down as you go progress in the bar, but it still helps a lot. And uh, now I'm showing you guys uh, Stealing Creation, which is another method that you guys can use to help you out in terms of dailies and stuff like that. It doesn't really help you in terms of money that much. It just has the 2 GP per XP that you're usually getting. 
and it'll be really useful if you guys really want to go for dailies like I did and those are the uh, FC's that I used and um, yeah thank you guys for watching if you guys want any more information you guys can always PM me my PM's always on or you can visit in Clan Hopeful but anyway guys sorry for the rushed guide I really wanted to get it out to you guys but I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time